Hey everyone, welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa and the Spotlight collab challenge this week is Pop Art Nails and participating is Lisa Whitney, Naomi Nails, Sweet Tea Nails, and Sura Williams Queen Me Nails. This week's tutorial will be a little different than usual. Normally I work on my own nails, but I only just did my nails last week for the Kaleidoscope nails and personally I am loving these nails so I'm not ready to remove them yet. This time we are going to do our set on these false nails and to start off I'm going to use this nice light purple by Born Pretty. It is called Mallow and once I've polished it I set it in the light for 60 seconds. I use this color on the thumb, ring and middle fingers. The first stamping plate I'm going to pull out is a Pick U plate and it's PYF017 and before I can get started I just need to remove the blue film. I stamp on a pixelated background using Born Pretty's Lost Herself stamping polish and I do this on all of the purple nails as a base for my images. next plate I use is a CADS Fashion 038 and this is a layering plate. So we're going to use the face image at the bottom and the first color I'm going to use is Cherry Blossoms as her skin tone and I'm just going to pick up that image and stamp it directly onto the nail. Now there is a little bubble where it didn't quite pick up at the very top of her forehead so I'm just going to fill that in with a detail brush. Second, I take my white, which is called Pure, and I'm going to pick up the pixelated image just to add that sort of pixelated look that you see in comic books. And I'm going to stamp that right on top of the skin tone. Next up, we're going to do some reverse stamping. So we're going to pick up the outline of her face um, with my stamper and then we're going to fill in some color so when you do this you just use your dotting tool or you can also use a brush but when you do it you actually don't want to touch your brush or dotting tool down onto the image you just want to get close enough that the color transfers if you touch down you could pull off the image and damage the image so just be really careful when doing this very light touch just guiding the color where you want it to go while I'm filling in the image I'm gonna tell you about the spotlight collab challenge it was thought of by sweet tea who is super talented and the idea is that each week two of us team up to come up with a theme that all of us are challenged to create this challenge is a lot of fun for us but it also gives you our audience an opportunity to meet new youtubers that you may have never seen before Last week's Kaleidoscope theme was chosen by myself and Sweet Tea. This week's pop art theme was chosen by Lisa Whitney and Naomi Nails. Naomi Nails I just met through this spotlight challenge and she is super talented. I mean just look at these beautiful ombre nails and these super adorable nails. And she too created a street art look which I absolutely love. And last week for our Kaleidoscope theme, this is what she created. I think they're super beautiful. And if you haven't watched her video yet, please go check it out. Go like and subscribe. It is worth it. She is super talented. And her partner choosing the pop art theme was Lisa Whitney. And Lisa Whitney is such a sweet lady. I absolutely love her. And I'm going to tell you all about her in just a moment. But first, let's get back to the tutorial. After I filled in the image completely, I set it aside to let it dry for a moment. And then once I think it's dry, I just touch it a little bit to check and then line it up with the rest of the face image and stamp it down. Now there is a little excess on the side, so I just remove that with my tool. You could use some acetone if you need to, especially if it's on a person, you might want to use a little acetone to remove the color. Now to complete the look on this nail, I decided to add the wow. So I do the shadow in white and then I do the lettering in the dark purple, the same dark purple that I used for the pixelated background. And once I've completed that, I will go ahead and top coat it and set it in the light for 60 seconds. 
And now let me tell you about Lisa Whitney. She commented on a couple of my haul videos and we immediately became friends. She is so talented. She hand paints most of her stuff, which is completely beyond me. Check out these fluorescent drippy nails, these powder puff girl nails. She hand painted that and these beautiful flowers. Absolutely love it. And last week's challenge, these kaleidoscope nails completely blew my mind. If you haven't watched her video yet, go check it out. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is my final look for the thumbnail and originally I did create the thumbnail first But this was actually the second time creating this nail Originally, I created this nail without the dark purple pixelated background and the wow is so small You couldn't read it. So I decided to recreate it But it was the inspiration for the set and you can see it there in the background So now I'm taking born pretty um, this light pale green color and it is called a brook wind and I'm going to paint it on my two accent nails which are my index and pinky nails and then I set them in the light for 60 seconds So next I wanted to step away a little bit from the stamping and do something by hand. So I'm going to create a dot pattern with my dotting tool first in black and I'm going to do this on both of the green nails. So I just set those nails aside to let the dry and while they're drying I'm going to prep my middle finger with the purple polish and set that in the light for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to pull out my white polish and create little dots overlapping the black to create a 3D look. And of course I will do this for both of the green nails. Once I have created the dots on both nails, I will set them aside and let them dry and prep my ring finger with the purple polish. Now we're going to repeat slightly what we did on the thumbnail, starting with the dark purple pixelated background from the Pick You plate. Next up, I pull out my next plate. This one's CADS Fashion number 45, and I'm picking up the image of the pineapple. And once again, I'm going to reverse stamp this image. So filling it in using the same yellow color I used for the girl's hair on the thumbnail. Now once I finished filling in this image, I set it aside to let it dry and I'm going to pull out another stamper so that I can pick up the image of the sort of spiky bubble 
don't know <laughs> what to call it. Um, and I'm going to stamp this down onto the nail. And now directly over top, I'm going to stamp down the pineapple. And then I'm going to go back to the other CAD's plate and pick up this pair of sunglasses and stamp that down onto the pineapple. And why? Because it's a cool pineapple, it needs sunglasses. And now I'm going to use top coat and set that in the light for 60 seconds. Okay, now that the middle finger is complete, we still have the ring finger to do. So we're going to repeat everything we just did on the middle finger, starting with the pixelated background and then the spiky bubble on top. Now I pull out my fourth and final stamping plate for this look and this one is a stamping plate by Born Pretty. It's a small round one and it is BP127 and once again I've never used this plate before so I had to remove the blue film before I could get started. And I decided to pick up this mouth image with these tongue sticking out and once again we are going to reverse stamp this image. Now I set this image aside to let it dry and while it's drying I'm just going to go ahead and top coat my two accent nails and then set them in the light for 60 seconds. Alright now last but not least we just have to stamp down this image and then top coat the final nail. Okay, so here is my final look, and I'm really happy with the way these turned out. They are really bright and vibrant. They definitely, to me, say pop art. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to check out all the other girls' videos. I'm really excited to see what they came up with for this challenge. And don't forget to join us next week for our final challenge. I'm really excited for it, so see you all next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Bye!